Hello everyone, this is iSense USA. Uh, this video is a quick tutorial video of how to use Kerosene's end release meter. Uh, when you have purchased the meter, you would have received the meter, two vials of 50 count test strips, a lancing device, and a lancet, a 100 count lancet, and uh, a vial of control solution. Uh, in this video, I will go through how to set up the meter as well as how to test blood glucose level and also how to use control solution. First, let's set up the meter. You're going to press the S button for three seconds. You get into set and no blinking. You can use either button to change to yes. Press S to select going forward. We're in year 2023, select. It is November 17th, so I will go November 17th. It is 11, 12 a.m. I will use 12 hour system. You can also choose 24 hour system if you like. I will remain same on the 12 hours. It shows 8.58 a.m. So I will set to 11 and then 12 a.m. Okay, the beep basically means whatever you do on the meter, uh, the meter will sound, uh, we don't, the meter will make a sound beep. I will keep that on for now. EP stands for expiry um, in the manual. You can find a section where you can set up your uh, test strip expiry into the meter so that you can uh, know that this test strip has been expired or not. You can press S to skip this part. You will see a low arrow on the left and 70 blinking. This basically means that you're going to set up your hypoglycemia or low threshold recommended by doctors recommended. So let's just say I will set up for 75 for now. Same thing, high arrow on the left, 150 blinking. That means you're setting up your high threshold. Uh, let's just go down to the lowest high threshold, which is 120. Like so, press S, we're back to Setting ear to get out of the setting mode, you basically have to press and hold S button for three seconds. The meter shuts off and it's ready to use. So now you have the test strip, lancing device, and lancet. So let's first uh, set up lancing device and lancet. Simply twist off the cap of the lancing device. Insert the needle into this hole here. Press it in. You will see uh, this button change to orange, meaning that it is loaded and ready to go. You can test it out by uh, pressing it and this will part come out. Okay, you can twist the lancing device like so to take off the lancet cap. Simply Reinsert the cap of the lancing device, twist all the way until you hear a small click, like that. I usually go about level three, and then notice that when I push the button, it's now clear. Simply cock back the lancing device like so to change to orange. Put that aside, have the meter, take out a test strip. When you insert the test strip, make sure that the black part is facing you and the pointy part is facing you as well. So this little barcode looking part will go into the meter like so. After three seconds, you're gonna see this symbol here, meaning that it is ready to receive your blood sample. How to prick, uh, you simply would just squeeze your finger a little bit so that it's red on top of the tip of the fingers. Gently press against your skin. Press this button to prick. Squeeze some blood out. And the blood gets inserted to the very tip point of the test strip. 
not on not anywhere you can see that the yellow uh, the square on top of the test strip turned into red meaning that the blood sample has reached to where it should be to measure your blood glucose level after five seconds you can see the blood glucose level shown moving on to control solution a control solution is not a calibration tool it is a uh, self-assurance tool basically to ensure that uh, your meter and test strips are working properly and that it is within compliance range simply put you have control solution a here which is included in the meter kit on your test strip vial you can see that there is control solution range control a and control b it says 120 to 162 210 to 284. When you measure control solution with this meter and the test strip, if the result is within this range, which is control A, because we're using control A, that means the meter and the test strip is uh, within the range and that it is good to use. To do so, first, take out a test strip, insert it into the meter, same manner, Press and hold the right arrow button for three seconds. You will see this symbol, meaning that the result now uh, tested with this vial is marked as a control solution result and that it will not impact or affect your average glucose level. Before you uh, use control solution, make sure you shake it uh, because control solution is uh, essentially a sugar water and if you have it sit in one spot for too long the good sugar will accumulate at the bottom so you need to shake it so that you can mix it well have the cap sit on a flat tabletop then squeeze a little bit of control solution there same thing as measuring blood glucose you just have the tip of the test strip touch the control solution after five seconds you can see that the result is 140 meaning control solution a range 120 to 164 140 is within the range that means this meter and test strip are good to go when you take out the test strip there is a test strip ejector here can simply slide it out and say uh, on top of your uh, trash can slide up to take out the test strip make sure to uh, close the control solution cap back on and um, use a paper cloth or or a toilet paper to wipe off the uh, the solution that you have squeezed out thank you